Welcome back to another episode of Wednesday Wisdom. We'll be back with today's special guest, but first let's hear from our podcast sponsors. We want to thank Violet Defense for their support of the Educational AD Podcast. Violet Defense is dedicated to protecting our world from germs by bringing the power of UV disinfection to everyday spaces. Their patented technology enables them to harness the power of the sun to incorporate ultraviolet light into products and environments like never before. Whether you're ready to implement existing products, or if you'd like to explore researching and developing a custom deployment of their technology for your school, Violet Defense has the solutions and the experience you need. Go to violetdefense.com for more information about their great products. We also want to thank Sideline Interactive for their support. You know, it's becoming harder and harder to fund an athletic department these days, but Sideline Interactive's indoor scoring tables and video boards can generate $10,000 or more every year while creating excitement in the gym and the ultimate game day experience for your athletes. Go to sidelineinteractive.com or call them at 832-786-0302 to schedule a live web demo and see their tables and boards in action. You can also email them at sales at sidelineinteractive.com for more information. That's sales at sidelineinteractive.com. I promise you, you will come away very impressed. We also want to thank Wall of Fame by Vital Signs. You know, they are on a mission to bring your school's legacy to life. They provide a variety of interactive touchscreen video consoles and an extensive library of templates to make it easier than ever to recognize the athletic achievements of your students, both past and present. For more ideas on how to showcase your school's diverse history, along with your proudest moments, go to vitalsignswalloffame.com. Or to learn more and get started with your digital Wall of Fame tribute, call them at 614-981-3589, or you can email them at sales at vitalsignswalloffame.com. That's sales at vitalsignswalloffame.com. You won't be disappointed. We also want to thank Huddle. Remember, at Huddle, we power sports. More than 180,000 teams, including some of the best in the world, are using Huddle to elevate the play of their athletes and their teams. Huddle's the complete performance platform. They have online tools, mobile and desktop apps, smart cameras like the Huddle Focus. Of course, there's analytics and a whole lot more. Huddle's built for every level of play, from the club and youth levels up through high school and college programs, and even professional teams are using Huddle to help their teams play better. You're in pretty good company with over 6 million users, including your student athletes, a lot of their parents, and the coaches of the teams that you're trying to get your kids recruited to. If you want to find out more about what Huddle can do for you and how your school can become a Huddle school, go to huddle.com and talk to their professionals. Remember, at Huddle, we power sports. We also want to thank Athletic Surveys by Lifetrack. They sponsor the Athletic Director's Toolbox segment of our podcast. Athletic surveys by Lifetrack are a quick, easy, and affordable way for you to collect comprehensive data that allows you to evaluate and improve your entire athletic program. Athletic surveys by Lifetrack also put you in touch with the 95% of the parents and the student athletes that really love your program. And it gives them a voice to help demonstrate the importance that a positive athletic experience has for them. Go to Athletic Surveys by Lifetrack and check out their testimonials and then give them a call at 1-800-738-6466 or you can email them at info at athleticsurveys.com to get started. If you've never used a survey to take the pulse of your parents or your student athletes, you're really missing out. Go to Athletic Surveys by Lifetrack and let them help you take your athletic program from good to great. 
And we want to thank Hometown Ticketing, the leading digital ticketing provider to schools and colleges. You can learn more about what Hometown Ticketing can do for you and your program by going to hometownticketing.com. Hometown Ticketing, simple and easy online ticketing. Welcome back, everyone, to another episode of what we're calling Wednesday Wisdom. We've got a rotating group of experts from across the country and the world of athletics uh, to share their knowledge with us. And I'm very excited today. I've got a real good friend, Suzanne Vick, is joining us. Uh, Suzanne is a certified master athletic administrator. Uh, she's been on the podcast before. Uh, she is the athletic director at Curtis High School up in the great Northwest uh, in the state of Washington. Suzanne, uh, welcome to Wednesday Wisdom. Wow, thanks a ton for that introduction and thanks for having me. Okay. Well, uh, we're glad that uh, we could get you back. I know you're really busy out there. Uh, but um, for this episode of Wednesday Wisdom, uh, we were going to talk about uh, the importance of building relationships uh, and you know the, the changes that, that, uh, that must occur during that. So go ahead and kick us off. You know, um, you know, what, um, you know, why is relationship building so important for athletic directors? You know, I think um, it's one, it's the, it's the thing that we can impact to create positive change. And um, when I think about the need for change, I think you've got to look at like, what's the, what's the end game? What do you want? Um, really being aware, uh, critically aware of what you've got going on in your school. And it, is it actually what you want? Um, one of the things that I talk to my coaches about when we're doing preseason um, meetings is what do you do during water breaks and what's the culture of your team? And if you want your culture to be different, what you do during water breaks would be different. Um, a lot of coaches, if you say, okay, go break, go get water, coaches will huddle and decide what they're going to do next. What changes do I need to make in my practice plan? But if you really want to impact change, you're going to find out what conversations are happening when kids are getting water. Um, you'll go and ask questions. You'll go and talk to those kids. You'll just be a, a, an observer in that space to really get an idea of what's going on with the culture of that particular team. But I think the, the need for change um, or the impact of change based on relationships, really, you got to think about what, what's your end game? What do you want it to look like? How do you want your culture to be identified at your school? Because when you, when you do that, then you can actually start with that end game in mind and, and create a plan for change. Yeah, the planning is, is obviously <laughs> crucial. And in our world, you know, there's so many different uh, relationships, groups and levels, you know, um, you know what sorts of relationships are important for you? Well, I would, I would ask you a question back. Uh, what relationships are not important? The, uh, I think about, you know, for me personally, um, taking a couple classes and I, I write um, every day, um, what do I value? And one of the things I value, and I write it every single day, is relationships. But what relationships are those? It's uh, my personal relationships with my family, my friends, coworkers, um, my coaches, my athletes, my trainer. Um, but relationships that a lot of people might not think about is the parent relationship, the fan relationship, the siblings, your athlete siblings relationships, because those will be your future athletes. Those relationships are super important. Again, thinking about what's my end game? What do I want this to look like? Um, and when we do that, all of those relationships um, become really important. However, time is limited. Um, what I would say to some degree is you don't have time not to. Um, so figure out how to be super efficient in your job so that you can create the space for those relationships because sitting down and having a conversation um, can actually save you hours and hours and hours. If you built the relationships, people will almost always assume best intentions. And then when that's the case, you have time and space to do the other things that are really important. You know, since, since I've gotten to know you, um, you know, you're involved at so many different levels, you know, the things that you're doing at Curtis High School, 
Uh, you're also involved, you know, with your district and, and those schools and in the area. You had that huge project and uh, getting those basketball courts put in uh, several months ago. Uh, there's only so much time in the day, as you alluded to. You know, why do you think it's so important to spend time on building these relationships? Well, like I said, I, I think you can't, in my opinion, you can't afford not to. Um, a lot of people will close their door and get to the grind of being an AD because it is a grind. There's a lot. There's a lot of things that have to be done. Um, but when you take the minute, the two minutes, the five minutes, the passing period um, to build relationships, um, you eliminate a lot of things that could happen on the other side. I'll give you an example. We had an issue um, with our student section and it, it, it just kind of came out of the pandemic. They didn't really um, understand what appropriate fan behavior would be. We identified it and I pulled the, the nine kids that I thought these are critical to us becoming a better student section. And we spent an hour and a half talking. It's a lot of time to dedicate to that one thing. Um, but that hour and a half has um, saved me hours and hours and hours that could have possibly happened of things that might have been negative that had happened in our student section. Um, so again, you got to prioritize with your end game and then realize what can I let go? But relationships can't be the answer. Relationships cannot go um, because they will save you more time in the end. Well, great, great stuff. For our listeners, uh, we're visiting with Suzanne Vick, Certified Master Athletic Administrator and the Director of Athletics at Curtis High School in Washington. Uh, we're going to take a quick break, but we'll be back with some more. This is Wednesday Wisdom on the Educational AD Podcast. We want to thank Huddle for their support of Wednesday Wisdom and the podcast. Remember, at Huddle, we power sports. More than 180,000 teams, including some of the best in the world, use Huddle to elevate the level of play for their athletes and their teams using video and analytics. Huddle's the complete performance platform. They have online tools, mobile and desktop apps, smart cameras like the Huddle Focus. Of course, there's analytics and a whole lot more. Huddle's built for every level of play, from club and youth programs all the way through high school and colleges, and even professional teams are using Huddle to help their teams play better. You're in pretty good company with over 6 million users, including your student athletes, a lot of their parents and the coaches of the college and university teams that you're trying to get to recruit your kids. If you want to find out more about what Huddle can do for you and how your school can become a Huddle school, go to huddle.com and talk to their professionals. Remember, at Huddle, we power sports. We also want to thank Sideline Interactive. You know, it's becoming harder and harder to fund an athletic department these days, but Sideline Interactive's indoor scoring tables and video boards can generate $10,000 or more every year while creating excitement in the gym and the ultimate game day experience for your athletes. Go to sidelineinteractive.com or call 832-786-0302 to schedule a live web demo and see their tables and boards in action. You can also email them at sales at sidelineinteractive.com for more information. That's sales at sidelineinteractive.com. I promise you, you will be very impressed. Hey, we're back with Suzanne Vick, Certified Master Athletic Administrator and Wednesday Wisdom. We're talking about relationships. And uh, Suzanne, you really uh, did a great job in our first part, but why do you feel that relationships are the key to impacting change for athletic directors? Well, um, you were a coach, right? Absolutely. I was a coach. And have you ever heard the saying that your athletes will run through a brick wall for you? Of course. A lot of, a lot of coaches want that. They want their whatever you say the, co the kids are going to do. They're just going to just go and they're going to do what you're asking them as hard as they possibly can. Well, when you have positive relationships, impacting change happens almost magically. 
that's how that's how it happens. It's the relationships are the key. The old saying, you know, people don't care how much you know until they know you know how much they care. Well, when those kids know how much you care, you're gonna get to your end game way faster because they know what your end game is. They built a relationship. They will start asking you questions. Well, what why would why is this student section so important to you? And and then we start having a mutual relationship and they they don't want to disappoint and it's not it's not a, a manipulative piece it's a let's get to the end game together so um i uh we we can do this but it's it does again it takes the time to really build relationships um and digging deeper to get to the root of of those things so that we can impact change yeah, the, as you're talking about that, uh, I just was having a, a rush of memories for those relationships that I had with student athletes or coaches, uh, or even with certain parents that were just had really bought into the program. Uh, very cool stuff. Earlier on, you gave the example of working with your um, student section, your student leaders. <clears throat> Do you have any other examples um, where a positive change occurred? because of the time you took uh, to build those relationships? Yeah, our, our student section is kind of an ongoing. We're, we're continuing um, to do some, some, some of those things. We've, um, we're working, working really hard um, to bring back and create positive change and um, something that we can build a legacy that um, we'll be really proud of for years and years and years to come. Um, it's, a, it's gonna be a work in progress. Um, there's a lot, a lo lot of things going on with student sections that are not real positive right now. Um, so that's one big, big, huge thing we're really working on. But I think a um, couple things specifically, um, one is you know, our, our female sports um, oftentimes feel like they're not valued. They're not as valued as our male counterparts and really taking the time to build relationships um, with our female athletes, building up our female coaches, providing opportunities um, that decrease barriers for our female coaches um, has, has really been intentional on my mind. I'm hiring our female coaches and really empowering them to, to realize their, their magic and they're awesome and that um, we're going to go do great things and that they're valued. Um, but that takes a lot of, that, that takes a lot of um, building up and breaking walls. Um, you know, even as a female AD, sometimes those girls still feel like that. Um, we're 50 year anniversary of title nine. Um, and it, and it's still something that we're dealing with. And so working really hard on those relationships, um, we have dealt a lot um, with things of race um, that have um, specifically come out in my time here at Curtis High School and really taking the time to have conversations, being a listener, a learner, growing and becoming better and knowing that we're not perfect. But um, again, when you work hard to build relationships, people will assume, uh, start to assume best intentions and then they'll start asking the questions. And so those are some big things that we're working on, but you know, just, as simple as uh, just yesterday, I got a, a message from a kid that said, thank you so much for reaching out to that coach. This wouldn't have happened without you. Well, I just, it was, it was a conversation in the middle of a JV game that we were just having. And I'm like, well, I know that guy. And, you know, just connecting dots. And he's like, wow, you, you really care about me. And it was simple. It was little. Um, I could have been standing at the door with my elbows crossed, making sure people had their masks on. But I chose to go sit next to him and see how he's doing. Um, so those things are just really important. Yeah, the, um, uh, the word that comes to mind for me with relationships is uh, nurturing. You know, it's just something that is ongoing. And, uh, and you mentioned it, you know, you're, you're doing it, you know, not to, you know, curry favor or something like that, but because it's the right thing to do. Okay, really cool. Now, I, I know you're incredibly busy and you got to go, but um, any final thoughts uh, that you can share with us uh, on this segment of Wednesday Wisdom today? Yeah, you bet. Um, so when I was a mom of three small kids, I had a you know newborn, a three-year-old, a five-year-old, just kind of doing this thing and I'm trying to teach and coach. And um, uh, you asked me today, like, why are you up at 6.30 in the morning to do this podcast? Um, 
I just, I get up early, uh, but something uh, that has stuck with me since that, that time is I got to get up before my kids get up. Because if I get up before my kids get up and I get myself set for the day, I'm playing offense all day instead of defense. And I believe positive relationships keep you playing offense instead of playing defense. You're not fielding phone calls from angry people um, if you've built relationships, because again, they're assuming best intentions. And so they're not calling you to see why you're harming them or harming their child or harming whatever the system is. Um, that goes for kids, coaches, parents, siblings, fans, um, really taking the time to greet care. Um, you know, it, this is it again, you don't have time not to, but it does take time being willing. Um, the next is being authentic. Um, people know if those relationships are not real. Um, and then, and then you just get blown off. Like it didn't even matter that you tried. Um, you got to build trust because if people don't trust you, those relationships aren't valuable anyway. Um, and then I would say to dig deeper. Um, don't settle for it. Like, you know, you walk through the hall and you watch teachers or coaches or kids. Hey, how you doing? Fine. How you doing? Good. How you doing? Fine. What does that even mean? So tell me something that's great about today. Tell me one thing you're struggling with. How can I help you today get over that hurdle? Those are things that, that build relationships. You know, one of my goals this year, and I, I have failed miserably, is to make sure that I know the name and face of every one of my student athletes. I don't. I want to because names are super duper important. Um, but we're still wearing face masks all the time in Washington state. And so only having this much of a kid, um, is it, it's, it's hard. Um, but it is on my radar of things that I really want to do to just know every single one of my kids, greet their parents, greet just anyway, relationships make a huge difference. They just do. Um, and I think it, it makes your day much better. People know you care, but they also care about you. Um, I had, out of nowhere, last spring, this beautiful basket of flowers on my front porch with a note just how, how impactful um, my relationships are. And I don't even know who sent it to me, but it was, I was like, wow, that's really special. Um, so they do make a difference and people just wanna know you care. We're in a, in a place where people really need positive relationships. So again, I think my final advice is you don't have time not to. So don't use the excuse that you don't have any time. Uh, always great stuff. And, and the thing about failing, I just saw this the other day that if you're failing again and again, it's a signal that you're making progress. You know, you're moving Absolutely. forward. So uh, good stuff. Suzanne, always great to talk with you. Um, if one of our listeners wants to reach out and pick your brain a little bit more on this topic, how can they uh, get a hold of you? Probably best to connect with me via email. Um, and my email address is S as in Sam, Vic, V as in Victor, I-C-K at UPSD83.org. And that stands for University Place School District. So S Vic at UPSD83.org. Um, I'd love to talk with anybody that has any ideas, any thoughts, uh, or suggestions on how I can improve relationships um, in my own game. Okay. Suzanne Vick, Certified Master Athletic Administrator, thanks so much for sharing with us today on Wednesday Wisdom. Absolutely. Thanks for having me. Oh, you bet. Uh, looking forward to getting out to Washington uh, for your uh, conference. Okay. I hope so. Well, hopefully we'll see you in April. For our listeners, uh, remember the Zoom recordings of these interviews are uploaded to the Educational AD Podcast YouTube channel. We appreciate you listening today. Come back again for another episode of Wednesday Wisdom and our regular interviews on the Educational AD Podcast. We also want to thank Athletic Surveys by Lifetrack for their sponsorship of the podcast. Athletic Surveys by Lifetrack are a quick, easy, and affordable way for you to collect comprehensive data that allows you to evaluate and improve your entire athletic program. Athletic Surveys by Lifetrack also gives you access to the 95% of the parents and the student athletes who really love your program. 
and it gives them a voice to help demonstrate the importance that a positive athletic experience has for them. Go to Athletic Surveys by Lifetrack and check out their testimonials and then give them a call at 1-800-738-6466 or you can email them at athletic, excuse me, at info at athleticsurveys.com to get started. If you've never used a survey to check the pulse of your student athletes or your parents, you're really missing out on a great opportunity. Talk to the folks at Athletic Surveys by Lifetrack and let them help you take your athletic program from good to great. We also want to thank Wall of Fame by Vital Signs. You know, they are on a mission to bring your school's legacy to life. They provide a variety of interactive touchscreen video consoles, along with an extensive library of templates to make it easier than ever to recognize the athletic achievements of your students, both past and present. For more ideas on how to showcase your diverse history, along with your school's proudest moments, go to vitalsignswalloffame.com or learn more and get started with your own digital Wall of Fame tribute. Call them at 614-981-3589 or email them at sales at vitalsignswalloffame.com. That's sales at vitalsignswalloffame.com. And we also want to thank Hometown Ticketing, the leading digital ticketing provider to schools and colleges. You can learn more about what Hometown Ticketing can do for you and your school by going to hometownticketing.com. Hometown Ticketing, simple and easy online ticketing. Thanks again for listening to this episode of Wednesday Wisdom. Uh, check us out uh, every week for new content, interviews on Monday and Tuesday, Mentoring Minute uh, on Tuesdays with Dan Como, Wednesday Wisdom, of course, on Wednesdays, and Team Building Tips on Thursdays. Thanks again for listening to the Educational AD Podcast.